Elon and Tesla must be feeling a lot more confident about full self-driving beta, specifically after this new update 12.3.1. One? It's too many dots, in my opinion, but I've used version 12 myself, and I've been very impressed by the performance. No, it didn't fundamentally shift my perspective on robo-taxi potential, but I did think it was incredibly cool and very fun and very eye-opening as to what is currently possible with hardware 3 equipped vehicles. And I think their approach here is that there's been a lot of negative press surrounding full self-driving beta. There's likely have been people that have subscribed occasionally to it or experienced it years ago. And when they had version 10 and version 11, it did scary things, it tried to kill them. So they just kind of completely write it off and they're not interested in paying for it anymore. So I think this new concept is Tesla feels so confident in its performance now that they want everybody to give it a second chance or maybe if you're new to Tesla, a first chance without having to spend the $200 for a month or of course the $12,000 up front. Let's just let everybody try it and then hopefully it results in more people paying for it or subscribing to it. So Tesla's rolling out a pretty aggressive way to make sure that everybody interested or that even comes close to sitting in a Tesla gets to experience FSD beta 12.3.1. First order of business is for new orders. So now, even if you don't use a Tesla referral code, you're still going to get one month of free full self-driving when you take delivery of your Tesla. But just as a reminder for everybody, if you use a referral code like the one in the description, it's not even mine. I just want to make sure that you use one because it's absolutely worth it. It comes with one year of premium connectivity, which is worth a hundred bucks, and three months of full self-driving instead of one month, which makes it about a $500 value just to use a referral code before you order the car. I need to be more clear about that because I've had a few people order their Tesla and then ask afterwards how to use a referral code. You got to click the link before you place the order, not after. There's no way to reverse that, I'm afraid. But even if you forget how to use a referral code, everybody is still getting a month of free full self-driving now. Now. And on top of that, Elon said in a tweet last night that later this week, all US Teslas that are capable of running full self-driving beta will get a free month of FSD, which basically made my heart skip a beat. And I got really excited because we have a really big road trip coming up, around 1,500 miles worth of driving. So I'm really hoping that Tesla launches this one month free trial for me because I've got a lot of driving to do in the next month. So here's hoping that they launch that option before the road trip of officially begins, but I would love to document it for you, and if there was one month out of the year that I was able to get a free month of FSD, it would definitely be this one, that's for sure. So that was really exciting and uplifting, and Tesla didn't just stop there. Elon also sent out an email to all of their employees saying that before anyone takes delivery of their Tesla now, they want a Tesla employee to join the customer in a full self-driving beta demo drive, which, okay, I get that he's excited and he's hoping to increase the take rate of FSD, but I don't know, to me that just sounds a little bit awkward, like one of the things that I loved and I also saw lots of people praising Tesla for over the years is the whole contactless delivery experience. I don't know, maybe not everybody likes this, but I'm a fan of just showing up to the delivery center. You know, you take pictures if there's any quality control issues, but for the most part, you just hit accept delivery in the app and then you get in the car and you drive away. You don't have to meet some stranger and the stranger doesn't have to get in the car with you and tell you how the car works. I would be really uncomfortable if I wanted to take delivery of the car and some guy was like, sorry, I, I gotta show you FSD beta now. Let me in. I'm gonna show you how you have to either click this button twice or pull down on the stock twice or once. And I'm just kind of like, eh, let me figure all of that stuff out too. But if that wasn't enough, Elon also didn't stop there. Now saying that if your Tesla vehicle goes in for service, they will also be offering FSD beta demo drives. I don't know if they let you do that by yourself or they're supposed to be an employee at the service center that's like, okay, come on, let's show you FSD beta now. But needless to say, they really seem to be doubling down on all aspects of the company where they're just trying to encourage people, please, let's get more butts in seats. Let's have as many potential customers as possible experience full self-driving beta. And you know what? It may not be a horrible business model, I must say. It's pretty mind-boggling that Tesla has the power whenever they feel very confident in a certain software stack that they can just, for a month, decide that all of their cars, which there are now millions of Teslas on US roadways that are capable of running FSD beta. Now the number of cars capable of running this state-of-the-art software basically just like, I don't know, quintupled or multiplied by a number of 10 or 12 because in more recent history, the take rate on FSD has been pretty low. It's usually sitting at around
around 10% these days. And now knowing that 100% of Teslas made in the past five to six-ish years are gonna be running this full self-driving beta suite, it's honestly kind of scary. Like there's probably gonna be a bunch of people that are gonna use FSD beta that have never used it before. That says a lot about how confident Tesla is in this software stack. Like they believe it to be safe. They believe that it can be ready for mass deployment and a massive rollout. And you know, it may honestly get the gears turning in a lot of people's heads. I know a lot of people that are dismissive of the software that would never try it because they're worried about the safety or the performance of it. But maybe by giving everybody a free month, people are gonna give it another chance. And once they experience it again, and if it's anything like the experience I had, it will be pretty mind blowing. And I think a lot of people will start going, wait a minute, holy crap, my car has been capable of this all along. Well, if that's the case, maybe, maybe 200 bucks a month isn't that unreasonable or maybe Elon's hoping that if a bunch of people experience FSD beta on this new, safer, more consistent version, a lot more people might get on board with the whole robo-taxi concept and start thinking about, oh, okay, well, if my car could go out and make me money, maybe $12,000 isn't too hard of a stretch. Again, Tesla doesn't have much risk or much to lose here because if it doesn't convince people, even if you never turn it on, all of the hardware is already in these vehicles on the road, which just says a lot about how powerful of a demand lever this is for Tesla. If they at some point want more people to pay for full self-driving, they try to get everybody hooked with a free month. Or if there's ever a quarter where they're struggling to move inventory, they can start giving away more and more free full self-driving, which is, in my opinion at this point, a level two driving system because you still have to keep your hands on the wheel, you still have to keep your eyes on the road, which makes it a really cool party trick. But who doesn't like party tricks, right? I mean, that doesn't necessarily mean it's a bad thing, especially if it's free and I'm honestly kind of worried myself for this free month we're gonna have it. Hopefully we're on the right branch and Tesla launches, you know, an update to make sure that even if you're on the latest software, you're still getting access to the latest FSD beta build. But if I get really hooked on it for a month, it's gonna probably be a lot harder to go back to not having it. And I think that's what Tesla's banking on. They're trying to get everybody on board with it and they probably don't want to cut the prices more than they already have. It was 15 grand for a while, now it's down to 12 grand. But they're probably really really trying to make people consider it and think about, yeah, 200 a month, maybe that's worth it if it's really useful and I really like it. But again, how much are you willing to pay for this very fun, very exciting party trick? Maybe it makes driving more entertaining. Maybe it makes it more relaxing. Even when I was using version 12, which was impressive and didn't do anything really that wrong or dangerous, because I have to pay attention and because I have to keep my hands on the wheel, I'm still supervising. I'm not really gaining much functionality. It's not like when I turn it on, now I can watch a movie, now I can go on my phone. It's hard to argue that it's so much of a convenience feature when you still have to be ready to take over at any time. And that's why for me, it would still be very hard to justify 200 bucks a month or $12,000, but I'll take the free month for sure. That's worth it to me. And I'm curious to see what the take rate of FSD is going to look like after this. And I'm also curious with Elon's latest comment saying they are no longer compute constrained for improving full self-driving. Is this also a way for Tesla to collect a lot more data on the latest FSD beta bit? They're now going to have probably 10 times more full self-driving beta miles during this free month than they were before. And does that help them train their neural nets faster? I don't know. Maybe this is a data collection technique that will actually enable them to improve the code even faster than they currently can. But what do you guys think? Are you going to be trying out FSD beta if it's free for a month? Or are you still going to leave it off? You're still not going to trust it? Feel free to let me know your plans down in the comments below. And thank you to everybody supporting this channel directly. It seriously helps us out a ton. As does just watching these videos. So thanks again. Have an excellent rest of your day.